It's Sunday, August 9th, 2015, and I'm Jim Sullivan with your NeilWeather.com video forecast. Most of us are seeing a good amount of sunshine as of 1030 in the morning. The exception is along the lakeshore from near Sandusky to about Westlake down towards Medina. There's a patch of clouds, mostly cloudy in that area. Otherwise, just some high clouds filtering the sun, but a good amount of that sun is making it to the ground. We have a large cluster of clouds off to our west over Illinois and Indiana with a weakening area of showers and storms. I don't expect the rain to make it in here today. I'll show you that more in a minute. But the clouds definitely will, so we will see gradually thickening clouds through this afternoon. Temperatures as of 10 in the morning, already a little bit on the warm side in the mid to upper 70s so early. We have a few 77s out there at Cleveland, Akron, Canton, and Wooster. 78 at Mansfield is the warm spot. Cool spots are Elyria and Ashtabula. Some clouds at Elyria keeping temperatures cooler. Everyone should rise into the 80s this afternoon. A little lake breeze will develop along the lakeshore and keep the immediate lakeshore a few degrees cooler, but I still think they'll at least touch 80 before that happens. The numbers for Cleveland yesterday, we did 81.62, close to the averages of 82 and 64. Records for today are 96 and 50. No rainfall at Hopkins yesterday, still running well below normal on the monthly precipitation. Still above normal on the year, but that surplus continues to get eaten into. Sunset tonight is at 8.35. And for the rest of today, those clouds off to the west will continue to stream in. By the time we hit mid to late afternoon, I expect a pretty good deck of mid to high level clouds. Some sun will still make it through, but it will be reduced. High temperatures inland getting up into the 83 to 84 degree range. Temperatures along Lake Geary might struggle to get past 80. You can see that north wind there this afternoon as the lake breeze kicks in near the lake shore will keep areas near the lake a little bit cooler tonight just a few showers mostly cloudy lows in the mid to upper 60s Taking a look ahead now on one of our short-term high-resolution forecast computer models courtesy of Weatherbell Analytics you can see the rain off to our west really struggles as it moves east. It's moving into a very dry and stable air mass here over eastern Ohio, which is why I think we'll stay dry this afternoon. The model develops a few specks farther northeast. I don't think that'll actually happen. I think we'll stay rain-free this afternoon. As we head into tonight, the instability and better moisture starts moving closer, so the chances for a few showers, especially in our southwestern counties, will begin increasing tonight, but today should be dry. Picking up one of our forecast computer models in the middle of the night, this model doesn't quite handle rain the exact same here as the other model did at the end of its run, but you get the general idea tonight. Could be a few showers, especially the farther south and west you go. As we head into Monday, low pressure looks to track directly across northern Ohio during the afternoon, bringing a good chance of showers and thunderstorms. It's possible a few storms could become stronger. Wind shear overall isn't the best, and all the rain that this model had tomorrow morning, that could help limit the instability. However, if we do become unstable enough, the low pressure moving by might cause enough shear over a small area to get a few stronger storms, so we'll have to watch for it. In general, I don't think it'll be a big outbreak. As we head through Tuesday night, the rain pulls off to the east. However... Cooler air begins streaming in, and a couple of disturbances will move through, so that could allow showers to continue downwind of Lake Erie, especially in northeastern Ohio, Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday. Uh, the next disturbance comes through right after the end of this image, which is the end of this model run. So we will generally dry out by the time we hit late Tuesday, late Monday night, pardon me. However, a few showers are going to continue to be possible downwind of Lake Erie. Taking a look at the bigger picture now through the work week, you can see we're going to get a big cool down here. You can see the general pattern this evening on the forecast model, a general trough here over the northeastern U.S. with slightly cooler temperatures, but some warmth and humidity trying to build east out of the central and western United States as we head into the day Monday. Tomorrow will be fairly humid, however, the amount of clouds and rain might limit temperatures some. If we get into the 80s, though, it'll feel pretty sticky tomorrow. Then as we head into Tuesday, cooler air starts filtering in, and the colder air gets more intense as we head towards Tuesday night and into Wednesday again. This is the temperature at about four to 5,000 feet above ground level 
and these are temperatures over northern Ohio at that level in the 40s, upper 40s, which for this time of year is fairly chilly. Again, during winter, much, much colder, but for this time of year, upper 40s at this level is pretty chilly. It's enough to get some instability over Lake Erie, which is why there could be a few lake enhanced showers late Tuesday through Wednesday. Now, as we head towards Wednesday night and Thursday and towards Friday, warmer air starts trying to gradually build back east, so temperatures will warm up by Friday and into next weekend, probably returning into the 80s, but definitely an impressive little cool down around the middle of the work week. And on the seven day, good chances for storms Monday into Monday night. Monday it'll be humid and still fairly warm, depending on how much sun we can get, though that'll determine exactly how warm it is. Tuesday we really start cooling off with a few showers lingering through Tuesday night and Wednesday, especially downwind of the lake. Look at that high temperature on Wednesday, barely getting into the 70s. Lows Wednesday night into Thursday morning will dip well into the 50s for a lot of us. Some of the cooler spots could get down right around 50, which is pretty nice for this time of year. Good night to open the windows. Thursday looks great. Thursday night still not bad. Friday into Saturday we warm up and maybe bring in a small storm chance by next weekend. With NeoWeather.com, I'm Jim Sullivan. Thanks for watching. Check us out again tomorrow.